Hey, I'm Brother Mark Mary with the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal, and this is Ascension Presents. So I couldn't be more excited to introduce this new collaboration between Ascension Presents and the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal. And as I was thinking about the best way to get this thing started, it hit me like, why waste time talking about what we're going to do? Let's just do it. So to begin, I'm going to need you to join me on a little journey. And we're going to go down to Guatemala. And there we are seated around an ordinary Guatemalan breakfast table. There's myself, two other friars, and two American tourists. Now the three friars, we're all down there studying Spanish. We're just about to begin our, our mission in Honduras, but before doing that, we just need to brush up on the Espanol, you know? Then there's the two tourists, and their names are Timmy and Tommy. And Timmy and Tommy are down there just doing their American tourist thing, just enjoying the country. And as we're there eating our breakfast, our, you know, tortillas and, and coffee, Timmy and Tommy start talking. Apparently, in this small Guatemalan town, there's like the world's greatest nacho restaurant. And Timmy and Tommy went there the night before, and they're going on and on and on talking about how great these nachos were. And they're like, oh, the chips were so crispy, and the cheese was so cheddary, and the, the lettuce was so fresh. Here's the thing. I love nachos. Like if I was going to be stranded on some deserted island for the rest of my life, and I can have one food, you know what it would be? nachos. But there they are, Timmy and Tommy, going on and on about the nachos. Oh, the tomatoes were so red and the ground beef was so ground. Because here's the thing, right? I love nachos, but I've also got this vow of poverty. And I love that too. And one of the expressions of this vow of poverty is that I don't just go to restaurants and buy nachos because I want to. I feel like I've been called to live this life like total kind of radical dependence on God and His providence. So when like, I want something, I just, I pray and ask and trust that God will provide, you know, what's best for me according, according to His will. So going to this restaurant and buying nachos, it's out of the question. But there they are, Timmy and Tommy, on and on they go talking about these nachos. And it's like, it becomes like this movie where you, you see like you got the good angel and you got like the bad angel, the little demon on one shoulder. And the little demon's talking, whispering in my ear. And he's like, hey, don't worry about it. It's only nachos. What's the big deal? You've been working hard. You deserve it. And this the little angel over here is whispering like, hey, no, trust God. He's the best of fathers, right? He's taking care of you. Has he ever let you down? Don't worry about it. Just trust him. So, so in my heart, there's like this internal struggle going on. And then all of a sudden it hits me, the inspiration, what I need to do. So we wrap up dinner, do the dishes. I go to my room, I close the door. And I begin to pray, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Father, Lord, you're, you're the best. You're the best of fathers. I know you hear my prayer. I know you love me. Um, so here's the thing, Lord, I, I could really go for some nachos right now. And I know you're Lord. I know you're mighty. I know you're mighty. And I know you can provide nachos. So if, Lord, if you could provide nachos, if it's your will, your will, but please, 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 Lord, let it be your will, your will, but please. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. So I go to school, learn my grammar, learn my vocab, yada, yada, yada. Now we're back. It's dinner time. Same table, same cast and crew, myself, the other friars, Timmy and Tommy, and we're there. And we're just making small talk. When the abuela, like the, the grandmother who'd been giving us hospitality, she starts bringing out dinner. And what do I see? I see chips and I see melted cheddar cheese, and I see black beans, and I see ground beef, and I see lettuce, and I see tomatoes, and immediately, right, my, my mouth start, starts watering, and my, <laughs> like my, my beard starts wagging like, a, like I'm a dog, and I, my heart starts beating super fast, and I get super excited, and then I hit the pause button. I say to myself, this is way too big of a deal. This is way too big of a deal for me to decide on my own. I need somebody else to confirm that what I think I'm seeing is in fact what I'm seeing. So as the grandmother comes and she comes right in front of me, puts the plate down, I, I ask her, I said, como se llama este plato? Like, like what, do you, what do you call this dish? And she says, oh, nachos. Hey, 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 taste and see that the Lord is good, y'all. And I loved it and I ate every little chip, every little nacho, every little bean, rice, piece of cheese, lettuce, tomato, loved it all. And I love this story, and I wanted to start off with this story for a couple of reasons. First of all, I love telling this story, 
especially in a group, because some always, <laughs> it always moves some generous soul to go and buy me nachos, the, keep, the gift that keeps on giving, right? Secondly, because I think it gives this perfect sort of introduction to what we're hoping to do with Ascension Presents and the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal. We've been given as friars this, this great sort of Franciscan privilege, this great front row seat to God's action in the world um, here and now. So what we're going to do is myself and other friars, we're going to be sharing these stories, giving sort of witness to the different ways in our own lives and the lives of those we've, we've come across. We've encountered that the Lord is alive and good and Father and worthy of our trust. And so what we're going to do is we're going to journey together. And, and poco a poco, little by little, episode by episode, we're going we're gonna to laugh together, we're going to cry together, but most importantly, we're going to grow in this sort of confident love that God is a Father, that God is good, that God is alive, and God is active. So, to make sure you don't miss any of the little stages of the journey, make sure, make sure you subscribe, check out every video as it comes out, and if you want to let us know like, what you want us to talk about, write, drop us a little line in the comment, we'll check those out, and we'll do our best to respond. So thank you for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you next week.